hey guys and welcome to cancun kayla's youtube channel it is a channel about beauty and in this video i will be showing you how to achieve this look please like comment and most importantly subscribe i hope you guys enjoy concealer beauty blender and we're ready to go we're just going to spread that evenly across our eyes to create a solid base for our eyeshadows This is our Juvia's Place palette, and I'm going to be using the color Kano. It's this one right here, and apply that right underneath my eyebrow. Now I'm going to take this palette right here. It's the James Chain Signs Morphe, and I'm going to use this color, and I will also be using this color. Um, the description of these colors will be in the info. This is called a small concealer brush and I will be using it to cut my crease. So ladies, I just learned this trick. You put some concealer in the middle of your eyelid and you blink up so you know where your eye naturally creases and you can mold your crease to it. Um, this is very helpful for people who don't know where their crease is. Back in that Morphe palette, I'm going to use this color for the front of my cut crease. This is my Riley Rose palette, the color Linda Lightning, and as you can see here on my eyes, that is where I placed it right before the ends of my cut crease. Back into this Morphe palette, I'm going to use this black color right here, and I'm going to use this big flat concealer brush, and I'm going to apply that into the ends of my cut crease. Here I'm using my Stila eyeliner. Now we're going to apply these lashes, girl, before we move on to beating our face. And this is my Morphe setting powder. I'm just going to rub this all over my face so that my foundation does not get too oily as the day progresses. And here we have our Fenty Beauty liquid foundation. I'm just going to spread that all over my face with this brush right here. It's a flat foundation brush. And in the next step you see here, I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender and add a little more to certain areas if I need to. 
and this is our Tarte Creases Concealer. It does not crease, ladies. I am the biggest fan of this concealer. You should try it. Back to the beauty blender we go. I'm just going to blend in all that light concealer that I have spread all over my face in certain areas. And you want to make sure your beauty blender is wet. Usually I spray my beauty blender with setting spray before I do this. And that allows it to blend better. And this is my dark concealer or contouring stick from L'Oreal Infallible. I'm just going to place this in certain areas of my face and then blend it in. This brush right here is amazing from Sonia Kashuk and I use it for my cheeks only because it gives me more precision when shaping my cheek. Now I'm going to switch to this short fluffy brush. It is a circular brush, so I'm going to go in a circular motion and just blend in that dark contour on my jawline and in the remaining spots above on my forehead. Last and third time, I'm going to switch to this fluffy brush. It is a blending brush for eyeshadow, but I use it to contour my nose because I find it defines it better. Back to our Morphe setting slash baking powder. We're going to bake in that light concealer by applying this baking powder to all the light concealed areas. This is my Milani blush in the color Coral Cove and this is the brush that I will be using to apply it. This is my L'Oreal True Match Face Powder, and I'm going to be using this brush right here just to dust away any leftover setting powder. This is my Too Faced Diamond Light Highlighter. This is what it looks like inside. I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks and I'm going to go in an L shape and also bring it above by my temple. Now another good makeup tip I have learned is that you should use your finger when applying highlighter to your nose because of the heat that it carries it maximizes the effects of the highlighter. So we're going to try our Stay Golden Glitter Lip Kit. It looks just like this. And when you unbox it, it has a glue, a brush to apply the glitter, and a lip liner. And the glitter, obviously. The first step is to apply that liner to outline your lips and to make a frame for the glitter. Now we're going to apply that glue inside that frame and the instructions are to wait until it dries slightly or becomes very tacky and then apply the glitter. Same rules apply for the top and the same routine will be done here. This is my new Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Amazing. And voila, this is the finished product. Thank you for watching.